I can practice identifying the points of view of characters and speaking in different voices to show characters' feelings. Today, I want to remind you how to determine different characters' points of view and how different characters might have different thoughts or feelings about a situation. Readers do this by paying attention to how each character reacts to an event or a challenge. How does Seymour react to Hoover the vacuum versus how Pearl acts to Hoover the vacuum? Number two, thinking about how each character feels and make their voice match the feeling. We're going to get a chance to practice this later on. And asking how are the characters feeling or thinking differently from one another? That is what we're going to practice today. So I want you to look at the image on the screen. Take a second to look at all of the characters you see on the screen. How does Seymour look versus how Pearl looks and how Buck looks? And ask yourself, how does each character feel? Practice making your voice match that feeling. Well, let's talk about how Seymour, our hamster, feels. Seymour feels terrified. He's sweating. He's closing his eyes. He has his hands on his face. Oh, no. I was a goner. I closed my eyes and waited for it to be over. He knew something was about to happen to him, so he got really scared. I want you, as you read, to match your voice, just like I did. And now I want you to think about Pearl, our big fat liar cat. How is she feeling? Mmm, there are some things in this picture that lets us know how she's feeling. She's got her claws out. And her tongue is up. Mmm, she's feeling hungry, isn't she? Pearl woke up and swiped him with her claws. So Hoover came, woke Pearl up, knew that Seymour was there. All along, she tried to capture him to eat him. She lied to him to get him there. So, today, looking at this new image on your E-class... I want you to think, how does each character feel? I want you to practice making your voice match that feeling. So I am going to put this image on your e-class and you are going to record your voice matching the feeling of the image that you see here. How is Buck feeling? How is Seymour feeling? How do we know this? I can't wait to hear all of your voices matching the feelings to each of these characters. But don't forget, I want you to back it up. What is something in the story that tells us that Seymour's feeling this way or that Buck is feeling this way? And don't forget to upload it to either your assignments tab or your discussion question post.